All right, happy New Year's, guys. Uh, well, let's ring in the new year by doing an unboxing. I just got a shipment from Greenlight Surf Supply that I ordered, well, last year during Black Friday, actually. And it actually arrived last year, and I'm only just getting around to unboxing it now. I got a couple projects on the go, so I haven't gotten around to it. So I thought it'd be fun to do it on camera. I did it last year, I think, too. And I've already unboxed some of the epoxy, so I wonder what could be in this box. Got a sanding mesh. Figured I'd give this stuff a try. I forget which one this is, but it's some sanding mesh. Blue tint. Carbon fiber. This stuff looks pretty cool. Carbon fiber. This stuff looks pretty cool. And this will be used for a blank I actually ordered without a stringer. So this will provide some rigidity in place of a stringer. Should be interesting. Never, uh, never used this on a, uh, in lieu of a stringer. So kind of a kind of excited to try that. I've been using automotive polish to polish my epoxy. It's been working really well. I thought I would try some of their surfboard polishing compound as well. And I unboxed earlier their purple haze surfboard polish as well. So the compound comes before the polish, I believe. So I got that for the finishing. Also, I got a new bottle of Additive F because I think the old stuff I had started getting a little weird. So important. And I got a batch of epoxy, as you saw me unbox earlier. And then I got I also got this uh, measuring gauge so you can line it up on a stringer and measure either side of the board for measuring uh, like your fin toe in, uh, your fins, all kinds of stuff. The width of the blank. Kind of like the shapers versus square that I uh, used in a lot of my other videos. And I ran out of e-cloth last year and I figured I'd order a crap load of it just to have on hand. I don't know how many yards this is. I don't know, 30, 40 yards, but this will last me a little while. So e-glass, six ounce. All right, let's get down to the brass tacks. This is what, you know, costs a lot to ship here and is, well, the main constituents of making a surfboard, the surfboard blanks. So I'll show you what I got. I got three of them. Okay, to be honest, it's been so long since I placed the order, I forgot uh, what exactly I had ordered. So this guy here is their Performance Longboard Series and it's EPS foam, it's an 8.8, and I ordered it without a stringer because as I mentioned before, I wanna try carbon fiber on this guy. So it should be kinda of interesting. Uh, okay, so that's that guy. So that's gonna be kind of like a long board, maybe a fun board, long board, egg. Haven't really quite decided, I just knew I wanted something a little bit shorter than the long board I built last year that's up in the ceiling right now. Um, that long board is performing like freaking amazing, I love it. You just get into the wave so easy. Uh, it's almost like a, a little too easy. Although I shouldn't say that, it's never too easy. Next up, what I got here is also another eight foot six, I wanna say. Yeah, eight foot six. Uh, it's a utility blank for higher volume shapes. 
this guy here is going in a very special project, I hope. Um, this is probably going to be the next board I'm going to make. Uh, more details to come soon, but it should be interesting. I'm not going to make any promises because I don't know how well it's going to work out, but who knows. But anyways, that's what this guy's going to be for. And I believe I ordered it as a two and three quarters thick. I guess I could measure it, but anyways, you get the idea. All right, and this last blank. So this guy is a US blanks, seven foot six. This guy was pricier than all of the other ones because this one's actually polyurethane foam. My idea for this guy is to use that blue tint that I picked up to try a really nice tint job. I've never shaped a polyurethane board before. I've ridden polyurethane boards. They definitely have a different feel than epoxy boards, but uh, very interesting. You can still see where it came out of the mold because uh, they just pop, they have molds and then they inject it with the foam, with the expanding polyurethane foam let it set. The inside is softer than the outside. The outside's got this really thick, resili resilient skin. And I think when you're shaping, you don't want to shape too far past that um, because the inside material is a little softer. So very interesting. Never, never shaped uh, polyurethane, but this guy, it's a cool looking shape. I really like it. I'm really excited for this guy. It's neat that the deck is already domed a little bit. It's closer to the shape that uh, the final board will be. So a little bit less playing around in EPS foam, but uh, yeah. And I ordered it with a 1 8 fast stringer. Well, that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for sticking around and watching my unboxing video of my surfboard haul. Uh, you know, if you want any of this stuff, check out Greenlight Surf Supply. I'm not sponsored in this video by them. I just really like getting stuff from them. They've been just great to deal with. Anyways, uh, I'm really looking forward to shaping the polyurethane blank. Like I said, never shaped polyurethane before. That should be really interesting. Uh, but before that, I'm going to work on the 8.8, hopefully in the spring, early summer of 2021. Uh, and hopefully 2021 will be a much better year than 2020. So here's to that. And also I want to mention I'm skirting 100,000 subscribers. So thank you guys so much for sticking around and watching my videos. I know not everyone subscribed to this channel is interested in surfboard building. I just happen to collect subscribers over the years based on all the various different things I'm interested in videos I've posted. I know hitting 100K doesn't you know, mean very much on a day-to-day -day basis you know, in terms of YouTube, but I think it's a kind of a neat milestone to hit because you know, 100,000 people, 100,000 subscribers, that's a lot of people. So more to come this year in surfboard shaping building, but I'll probably have other videos as well. Also, if uh, any of you guys have been shaping surfboards, I'd love to see them. I'm not on Instagram a ton, but hit me up over there, tag me, and I'd love to check out some of your surfboards. The link is in the description below. All right, I'm gonna end the video here. Stay tuned. So happy new year and to 2021 to being a much better year. These surfboards will be shaped eventually and posted on this channel. I just don't really know the exact time frame for the most part, but Stick around and see what happens. Thank you so much for joining me on my surfboard building surfing adventures. And I will see you guys in the next video.